in case of tuberous sclerosis you can see uh, sebaceous adenoma and also patient uh, may be wearing hearing aid okay so because if the cause is alport syndrome okay and uh, then you have to see the neck and you may find a scar which could be due to parathyroidectomy scar and uh, you can see the scar in the uh, supra infra clavical region because of central venous line and uh, uh, then you can uh, see the abdomen on the abdomen you can find scar now the scars for the renal transplant can be on various places okay once i sent the photograph for different scars uh, it it was beautifully described uh, that where could be the scar and what does it mean so usually it is in the right iliac fossa so you have to see the scar you have to see the nephrectomy scar as well it is going in the back in the from the lumbar region going into the back so please uh, observe it deeply uh, okay so you can you may see some peritoneal dialysis scar so you may see some scratch marks on the body so these are all uh, the findings on inspection uh, which you can see and uh, so you can make your diagnosis without touching the patient that the case is of renal transplant and also sometimes they are keeping bananas on the side of patient in case of renal transplant if it is functioning well because we know banana contains potassium and such patients if it is functioning well they can eat bananas so uh, they are keeping bananas okay so this is also a clue uh, so when you are describing now there are two ways to describe it uh, you can start your describing your findings from the abdomen and describe all findings of the abdomen and then go on the hands okay or you start from the hands and then come on the on the abdomen but it is preferable and it is recommended as well and what i have seen and what we are doing uh, if you get renal transplant always start your findings from the abdomen okay first describe renal transplant finish it here and then go peripherally now while describing the renal transplant uh, you have to describe it under various headings like you have to tell current mode of renal replacement therapy previous mode of renal replacement therapy adequacy of renal replacement therapy complications of renal failure complications of immunosuppressive therapy and etiology of renal disease okay so now one by one i will describe it and then in the end i will present how you have to present like uh, what is the current mode of renal replacement therapy current mode uh, usually if it is a renal transplant you will see a scar and uh, you will find a mass uh, always palpate uh, beneath the scar you will find a mass that is kidney transplanted kidney okay so this is current mode of renal replacement therapy uh, other modes of renal replacement therapies are peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis if patient is having av fistula or uh, uh, tunnel central venous catheter but if there is renal transplant so it it will be your current the patient's current mode of renal replacement therapy okay if you get peritoneal dialysis scar av fistula and tunnel central venous catheter scar then it means it was previous mode of renal replacement therapy okay so like this you will explain and when you are describing a renal transplant uh, uh, always please comment on its tenderness this is very important okay uh, and you have to auscultate for the bruit as well uh, then second is previous mode of renal replacement therapy what it was this was the same as i have explained it could be hemodialysis by av fistula or before tunnel central venous catheter or peritoneal dialysis okay then adequacy of renal replacement therapy whether this is uh, transplant is functioning well or not then for that you have to see the features of uremia and fluid status the fluid status like you can see the peripheral edema periorbital edema if patient is dyspneic if there are crepes in the chest so these are signs for the fluid overload and uh, for the uremia you can see the scratch marks and uh, altered mental status asterixis pericardial drop 
but i don't think so that you should auscultate pericardial rub in the exam uh, just offer okay because there will not be much time concentrate on the abdomen because this is abdominal station then complication of renal replacement therapy you have to see the pallor anemia you have to comment okay because this is important then complications of immunosuppressive therapy this also you have to look for because if patient is having renal transplant definitely he will be on steroid and some cytotoxic so you have to look for like for the steroid you can see the insulin prick marks on the hand in the finger side and uh, you can see purpura you can see cushingite appearance and typical appearance of cushingite like uh, as we know all this is uh, not difficult and if patient is on tacrolimus then again insulin prick marks because it is also causing diabetes and if patient is on cyclosporin then you can uh, again see prick marks because it is also causing diabetes and uh, you can look for gum hypertrophy hirsutism and coarse tremor and then when you have presented your case then examiner sometime ask okay what could be the cause so there are many causes for renal failure like diabetes hypertension vasculitis polycystic kidney alport tuberous sclerosis membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis so if the cause is obvious then they will ask then you should be able to identify okay like if you find prick marks on the hands insulin prick marks then okay the cause could be diabetes it could be side effect of therapy Uh, like steroid and cyclosporin but it could be the cause okay so you can say that this is a diabetes uh, the cause could be diabetes for the hypertension you can offer that i want to check the blood pressure and uh, for the polycystic kidney you have to if there are scar marks nephrectomy scar then you can say that either um, uh, it possible that patient was having polycystic kidney and it has been removed okay and if patient is wearing hearing aid then you can say that uh, patient could have alport syndrome and if there is adenoma sebaceum subungal fibromas then tuberous sclerosis could be the cause subungal fibromas these are small fibromas present on the nails of hands and please see it on the google uh, these are small but if this is present this is diagnostic for tuberous sclerosis and on the face there is adenoma sebaceum around the nose uh, there are acne so this is typical of again tuberous sclerosis okay so like this uh, you have to uh, you should know and uh, you should see the patient and uh, now one thing which is very important uh, that uh, how you will know that the transplant or the graft this is functioning well or not now three signs there are three signs very important signs you have to see whether graft is functioning well or not first whether this is tender scar is tender or not then uh, signs of chronic renal failure and brewy over transplant so these three signs they will decide whether transplant is functioning well or not and you have to see okay and they will ask as well now how you will present your case to the uh, examiner you will start like this like uh, you can say that uh, i will like to complete my examination by checking external genitalia examining hernia orifices doing per rectal examination checking blood pressure and doing urine dipstick for glycosuria and hematuria on examination of this gentleman i found that uh, his uh, uh, on inspection of the abdomen there is a scar mark in the right iliac fossa and uh, there is a mass which is non tender and uh, there is a mass beneath the scar which is firm smooth uh doesn't move with the respiration this is non tender and there is no audible bruy uh there are uh, small scars uh, sh showing uh, current mode of renal replacement therapy there are multiple scars in the abdomen and uh, small scars and it shows uh, previous peritoneal dialysis and uh, if there are nephrectomy scars in the lumbar region then you can comment if there are no then okay do not comment then come on the forearms arms and forearms uh, there are prick marks insulin prick marks in the left hand and there is clubbing pallor and whatever signs which i describe on inspection or on examination you you got 
you have to add on okay so hand sign you will tell and then you will uh, say that in the forum there is av fistula now you can say that this is non active but functioning okay so and whatever your fistula is it is active non active functioning non functioning you have to describe uh, showing previous mode of renal replacement therapy and uh, there are no features of uremia or uh, fluid overload uh, and no pallor um, patient is having uh, gum hypertrophy and uh, patient is wearing hearing aid so uh, when you will say that patient is having gum hypertrophy then you will say that showing uh, complications of therapy and patient is wearing hearing aid showing that the possible etiology could be uh, alport syndrome so on the basis of this my diagnosis is patient is having renal replacement therapy in the form of renal transplant which is functioning well and the cause could be alport syndrome okay so like this you will present your case uh, is it clear if any confusion then you can ask so now what are the major causes of for chronic renal disease the next question of the examiner could be so these are diabetes hypertension glomerulonephritis and miscellaneous causes polycystic kidney analgesia so few if you tell then it will be enough and uh, what are the indications for renal replacement therapy like for the dialysis this all you will be knowing the few you have to tell like pericarditis and uh, refractory hyperkalemia acidosis and cephalopathy volume overload so like this okay uh, you have to tell and uh, peritoneal dialysis complications what could be just i am telling you headings if only headings you will tell it will be enough no need to go into details they will not ask it could be bacterial peritonitis and diabetes mellitus and some local complications and uh, the manifestations of renal osteodystrophy it could be osteitis fibrosa osteomalacia and dynamic bone disease okay so like this uh, you have to uh, present your case and uh, is it clear and uh, when you come on the face examine the gums for the gums hypertrophy as well examine the face for his autism pushing eye appearance of the face which is called moon like face don't use word moon like face in the exam because they don't like just say cushing guide appearance and all other features of cushing uh, cushing syndrome okay so uh, like this you have to and any skin tags if it is there uh, like because of human papilloma virus warts molluscum contagiosum so uh, like this you have to explain and deal with the case of renal transplant and you have to auscultate the chest as well if there are crabs and oedema and uh, facial puffiness and uh, peri or supraorbital puffiness to see the signs of fluid overload okay so i think this will be enough please like share and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you